we found a good source of tea. This is one of the one of the best teas there is. It's a balsam. Uh huh. And he just doesn't take a lot. It just takes a small sprig like that to make a good pot of tea. Right. Very Christmassy kind of taste to it. Not uh -huh. overwhelmingly piney. Uh huh. Uh, better than cedar. Much better than pine. Right. Very high vitamin C. Uh huh. Very easy to find, especially in the higher elevations is where you find most of these. Here's a good medicinal plant. We found a little patch of it here called Solomon Seal. Oh, An yeah. excellent antibiotic. I've heard Backwoods about that. Backwoods penicillin. It'll get little red berries on here. Now there's another one called False Solomon Seal that the berries will hang underneath the leaves. The root of this is your antibiotic. Well, folks over here, you can hear the trucks, can't you? We're in another urban area today. And uh, can you believe it? We're in an urban area, okay? Outside of Franklin, North Carolina. Look at this. This is an urban area here. <laughs> can you believe it? So you may find this in your own area and never know. And here is Nature Boy Doug. What you got, Nature Boy? Well, we've been talking about jewelweed, which is the antidote to poison ivy and pretty much any skin problem. Well, here's why they call it jewelweed, because those beautiful flower oh, that hangs off of it. Yeah. They'll be orange, white, or yellow, depending wow. on the soil. That's yeah, just a pretty thing right there. It looks like a little goldfish, doesn't it? Doesn't it? One of my favorite edibles, field garlic. Field imagine garlic. imagine being able to go out and just get your own garlic like oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's strong garlic. Real strong, doesn't, huh? Doesn't take much at all. Yeah, and we'll it, that's what it looks. Let's see this. what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like over Look here. That. There's your, there's your flower, your seed head on there. That's what you recognize see? it by. Nice long, healthy looking piece. Yeah, nice long, healthy. You can piece. dry it. Yeah. Or cook it up. This is uh, a wild carrot, Queen Anne's lace. It's have a beautiful white flower on top of it when it blooms. The little red dot in the center. There's a wild carrot. Boy, does it smell good, too. I it just does. smelled it. Really it really smells yeah. like, a, like a bunch of carrots. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Now, it mimics something that's not good for you, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. It grows with it. It grows with it. Right here. And here we come, around uh, to here. You've... It's poison hemlock. Poison when hemlock. When this flowers, the flowers are very similar to the poison hemlock. Wow. And when it's growing low on the ground, yeah. they're almost identical. So be very careful not to... Confuse the two. Here's a good treat that I like. Not the best specimen there is, but it's a red clover. Very high in protein. You can just take, eat it just like it is. Doesn't take but a few of them to really fill you up for a while. Good stuff, very sweet. There's a passion flower that hasn't bloomed yet. It's a beautiful, beautiful flower. And if you can wait long enough in the fall till after it gets frosted once or twice, Turns into a sweet little fruit about the size of a kiwi. It's full of seeds. Delicious. Really, really good stuff. Here's some blackberries. Oh, yeah. We've had a really good year. We've had a lot of rain oh, yeah. this spring. This is going to be make some really good pie for somebody right here. Woo. There's so many of them, the birds won't get to them first. They're all back up in here. It's a big blackberry thicket up in here. They're even good to eat when they're not ripe. 